Hey there guys, it's Robert from Rapture 0407 l and welcome to episode 470 of Love Story. Today we're going to have a look at Panda Express. Let's take a look at the short bio. those of you who don't know what Panda Express is. It is an American Chinese cuisine founded in October 1983 in Glendale, California by Andre Chung and Peggy Chung. Their headquarters are in Rosemead, California. As of 2017, there are 2,000 plus locations. Its area can only be served in the United States, Puerto Rico, Guam, Mexico, Canada, South Korea, United Arab Emirates, Japan, Guatemala, and El Salvador. As of 2018, they have 39,000 employees. And its website is pandaexpress.com. So let's take a look. Oops. I didn't mean to um, do that. Let me just quit that. Wow, new walk fire trip. I'm, 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 I'm only gonna do lightly today because because I don't want to ruin my beautiful voice, my beautiful singing voice. Healthy choices for everyone. Thirty, sorry, three hundred calories or less, and at least eight grams of protein. Walk smart today. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm Introducing Panda Favorites. Um, that's my favorite. Um, okay, now let's get on with this episode. Now without further ado, let's get started. 1973 to 1983, we have a white panda holding a bamboo or whatever that is, and it's inside this red circle. I think it's supposed to represent a sun. And then we have uh, we have the words panda and mandarin cuisine in white text. And I noticed that there's a line above and below the words mandarin cuisine. And also, it has some Chinese characters in it, which is cool. 1983 to 2009, they changed their name to Panda Express. So here we have the panda inside a red circle, and Outside the red circle, we have we have a white circle with red outline, and we have the words Panda Express in black text. And also in black text, we have the words Gourmet Chinese Food. 2009 to 2014, um, uh, same here, but uh, the text is the only thing that makes it different. Like, look, like the uh, line that was seen before is missing. And the text got much more bolder. And finally, 2014 to the present. Um, same here, but the but the only but the only difference is that the words Chinese kitchen replaced the words gourmet Chinese food. And this is their red version. All right, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Love with Doreen. And I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 471, Jimmy John's, but boy.